موت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رأيه قبل شجاع شجاعان يعني right what I mean by zeal here is a zeal that tends to be sometimes as converts we're like Abu Dhar when the Prophet yeah. told him like don't tell people you're Muslim we were like we're Muslim and then we get beat up we're like why we get beat up you know the Prophet's like I told you not to go into the Kaaba and tell people you're Muslim and do it a second time right uh, no I don't I don't you know I don't like to speak about other communities like I don't like to speak about how like who am I to judge like children are born Muslims <laughs> it's like a very important when I was younger I would have had a lot to say about that you know I think as you get older you learn to uh, to think before you speak I, I don't think that's necessarily the case because in Ezhar you know the the born Muslim Ezhar is like you can't touch those guys man those guys on scholarship are really in another another stratosphere uh, very passionate I had a friend of mine an Egyptian he memorized Riyadh Salihin in two weeks I mean, those guys, those guys are pretty passionate, um, dedicated. I just think that, that to be born into, and this is something I worry about my children, right? To be born into a Muslim family in the last three to 400 years means that you are implicitly or explicitly born in tra into trauma. You are having to either censor yourself, having to think about your public expression of religion, you're having to deal with some of the worst leaders that history has ever seen. Uh, you know, most Muslims from Muslim countries that I know, especially the Arab world, have had relatives that have disappeared, relatives that have been in prison, you know, have had their, their dignity taken from them. So I, I, I don't know, I, I, I tend to admire the resilience of people born into Muslim families. They, they may not have the convenience of passion because as a white man in America, I'm a lot more comfortable. I, I may have had the ability to be passionate just because of the cultural setting of white supremacy and how whiteness in America gives me utility. That, that may have been a reality to that. Whereas if I was born to families that had lost their uncles and aunts and were struggling to take care of people, say, in the Jadash, you know, camps in Jordan, and then you ask me, I'll give you one time I was in, I was in Egypt. I have a good story. That, I have a lot of stories I need to write. Mudakarati bi Misr.